Right. So to the topic which I'm going to discuss today is voids. Let us write the heading. Voids are also called as interstitials. They are also called as gaps. They are also called as spaces in number of uh, synonyms, right? Basically, when I speak about voids, voids are of two types. Octahedral void and tetrahedral void. Just see, O stands for octahedral void and T stands for tetrahedral void. Just remember one thing before I start with the derivation. Octahedral voids are always, remember, represented by an alphabet N. And tetrahedral void are always represented by the alphabet 2N. That means if this is 4, if the number of octahedral voids are 4, it would be 8, right? Double the number. So tetrahedral voids are always double than the octahedral voids. Remember that. So let me start with the derivation. When I speak about now, let me uh, teach you about octahedral void, then I will come back to tetrahedral. So whenever I have to learn about octahedral void, let me first say when actually are these voids? What actually are these voids? Voids are those, suppose I said when we have studied packing efficiency, 76% uh, or 74% is occupied, the leftover is vacant, right? Isn't it a gap in between the solids? It's the same. So whenever I speak about octahedral void, how are these voids formed? That is important. So first I have to question myself, how? Yes, now see. I have already thought in the previous video a a a packing a b a b packing a b c a b c packing isn't it now see for an octahedral void to form first you are packing the layer one layer here one more layer and one more atom done now what are you doing you are going to place one more i'm going this is the first layer the base layer on the top i'm going to place one more layer just observe here i've started with two now i'm going to start with one i'm going to start with the second layer i'm going to start with the third layer now observe carefully what are you getting you're getting an octahedral shaped void in between the center this octahedral shaped void or this is called octahedral void right fine now there is a small question uh, which appeared in your uh, CBSC exam what was that they've asked you if this particular octahedral void concept if I'm speaking, uh, speaking about octahedral void concept a question was asked explain the relationship between so I'm writing the question explain the relation ship between right bw is between r and r in an octahedral void this is what was the question how should i start the question so first what did i show i've shown you how are they arranged now i'm going to take a segment of this octahedral void in this plane just to make it simpler i'm going to take the segment in the segment i have four atoms attached one right two right three and four okay now in between this i just picked up that one section and i'm showing it to you in this dimension on that surface of, of this particular thing you have an octahedral void which is created done now observe carefully <coughs> this is one point at the center this is one point at the center this is one point okay fine now this is your void this is your octahedral void this is your atom okay atom now what you're going to do is you join this point this one and this these three lines now for to differentiate between a void and a sphere right because both are spherical in nature differentiate between a void and an atom you're going to pick up this radius as smaller right simple for the atom you're going to pick up or write it as capital R okay now this again is in same no R and this also is R so remember octahedral void you're going to mention it as small R and for the atom you're going to mention it as capital R now <coughs> let us start with the derivation I'm going to prove this now so I am labeling this as A A this is B 
this is c now let us see now this is your angle yeah right angle triangle so when i look in this term right angle triangle and this is your hypotenuse so start writing bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square done so this is your hypotenuse ac square plus ab square so what is bc square in that particular thing yeah <laughs> you have 2Rs, isn't it? So 2R whole square. This is done. What is AB square now? Yes, you have small r plus this r. Small r plus capital R whole square. Now what is AC square? Small r plus capital R. This is what we have done for the void. I took up small r and this is capital R. But further simplify 2R. So this becomes 4R square. Yeah common terms so r plus r whole square this is also done further if i simplify if i can cancel here and 2 what does this look now 2r square is equal to r plus r whole square done if i further simplify r plus r is equal to root 2r square isn't it yeah so what did i write i have written this particular thing to take out the square i have written square root 2r square fine now further if i can take now uh, this root and this root also gets cancelled so this becomes r isn't it when this is cancelled out under root so i am taking this r this side r plus r by r is equal to root 2 root 2 we very well know it is 1.414 so what am i doing i am going to separate these terms r by r plus r by r what did i do i took individual individually is equal to root 2 done now <coughs> i can write r by r as 1 so r by r plus 1 is equal to root 2 done what am i doing i'm trying to relate r and r so from this particular thing yes i'm going to writing the same thing here r by capital r plus 1 is equal to root 2 now i'm going to take this other side r by r is equal to root 2 value is 1.414 this becomes minus 1 so now what do you get r by r is equal to 0 0.414 now this is the ratio this is the radius of the octahedral void yes what did we get now <coughs> the radius of or the ratio of the octahedral void radius and the radius of the sphere this is your this one. The, so whenever somebody asks you the, what is the relation you can just derive this and show and finally conclude your answer